uncertain milk prices, feed, water, labor, these are scary times for the dairy industry. Solar can help. One thing that you can control is your energy. Energy costs continue to rise. They continue to rise at three to 4% a year. You're not gonna do away with that bill. What you would rather do is take that bill and eliminate it by going solar, which then eliminates that cost out of your equation, which is, in most cases on large dairies, a $200,000 to $250,000 reduction in savings. My 35 years of being in the dairy business, the decision to put in solar was probably the easiest one that I've ever been involved in making. The financing options that uh, was offered to us, uh, we have no money into it, and yet we reap the benefits of our utility bill being reduced by about 92-93% each month. Oftentimes a milk barn can use one megawatt alone. Add a few irrigation pumps, houses, and a mechanic shop, and we're looking at another megawatt. With this capacity, meter aggregation makes perfect sense for our dairy customers time and time again. You know your utility bill is con continue to rise. It's going to rise at 3 to 5% a year. Once you go solar, you have eliminated that bill. You have eliminated the inflation. If utility rates go up, yeah, you're concerned about them, but you're really not concerned about them because you're generating power at the same rate that you're paying for it. So it becomes, in essence, free. Our project um, was about a megawatt project. It was, it cost about $2 million. Uh, we saw about 600,000 tax credits and over the life, we'll be able to depreciate about 1.7 of, of the project. Dairies now for us is well over 25% of our business. It's a huge block of our business. We have covered from Hinkley through Tulare up into the Hillmar area on some of the largest dairies that are out there. Locally owned and operated with over 30 years in the development business, we are committed to our dairy partners and will continue to work on their behalf.